guys, Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you for coming back to the channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome on in. So on today's episode, we are going to be talking about and doing a demo on the Giraffe Tools electric pressure washers with the auto retractable reel. You guys may have seen my last video with the basic Giraffe pressure washer. Um, they sent me their newer models, so I can kind of compare them, uh, let you guys know the key differences, stuff like that, in case you guys are in the market for a badass pressure washer because they make some great pressure washers. I'm not saying that just because they sent me their tool. Um, literally nobody is really doing what they're doing as far as in the pressure world, uh, pressure washer world, as far as what I've seen. They have so many awesome features and the simplicity and for the price point of these pressure washers, you just can't go wrong. What we're pretty much gonna be comparing today is the basic, the plus, and the pro because that's the pressure washers I have to show you guys. So it's all displayed at the top. You can see the differences right here. The basic, you just get the plastic gun, plastic foam cannon, no uh, water hose. Whereas the plus, the plus plus, and the pro, you get the metal gun, the metal foam cannon, and the additional water hose. Big difference really is when you get into the plus, you can see you get the replaceable high pressure hose which is uh, different in color. To me, it looks uh, a lot better, honestly, as well as the Pro, but whereas with the Pro, you get 2,500 PSI versus the first three, you're only getting 2,200 PSI. So that was one thing that I was saying I wish they kind of improved on their pressure washer would be more PSI, and that's exactly what they did with the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro. But really, the biggest difference is, is just the PSI when you get to the Pro, and then with Plus Plus, you get the the hard and high pressure hose, but everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, you get the same 100 foot cable, uh, same 2200 PSI with the first three, and it's just when you go into the Pro, to me, that's like the biggest difference is the pressure because that's like why we're buying a pressure washer for. Oh yeah, those are pretty much the key differences between the pressure washers. Uh, they are having a Black Friday sale, so let me make sure I get this right. Um, if you spend $600 or more, you'll get $75 off. If you spend $1,000 or more, you'll get $150 off. The Pressure Washer Pro, sitting right here behind me, is going for $599 normal price, but on their Black Friday sale, November 25th through November 30th, it will be $539 sale price. And for the basic pressure washer, which is pretty much this one, uh, is going to go for $309 normal price, USD of course, sale price is going on for $279, and that sale for the basic one is only gonna be on November 28th for 24 hours. And like always, they threw in a discount code, any of you guys shopping on their website, use Let's Drift Media to get 10% off your order. And real quick for the giveaway, um, usually I just do a comment, special code word. This time we're gonna change it up a little bit. If you are interested in entering to win one of these pressure washers, uh, Draft Tools agreed to give one pressure washer away to one of my viewers and subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, drop a comment what you would be using this pressure washer for. I'm curious uh, for what you would actually be using this for and how it would help you in your life. So leave a little comment. November 27th, that will be the end of the giveaway and I'll go down the comments, uh, check out all what you guys said and pick one lucky winner and we'll ship you out one of these pressure washers for free. So it doesn't cost nothing, just a couple seconds. I uh, would really appreciate it if you entered it. All right, so now that we talked about the specs, you guys kind of have an understanding of the differences between the different models. So over here, we'll start with the one I already have, is just the basic Grand Falls pressure washer rated at 2200 PSI with the plastic gun and the plastic foam cannon. So this is the one I have been using currently, which does a kick-ass job, super simple, really like how they just bolt up to the wall and just slide on. Same application for these ones, but over here we got the new ones, which I'm super excited to try out since you guys know last time I said I wish it had a little bit more power, especially when cleaning car parts, stuff like that. But we have the Grand Falls Plus. This one right here is essentially the same as far as motor-wise and uh, product, I guess, similar hose. This one does have the metal gun which is one difference between the other one, but still pretty much the same pressure washer in my opinion. But it does come with the soft water hose, which the basic one does not. But for me, I would just run my water hose to it from the outside when I needed to use it. 
and then I would just take the water hose out. So that's not too big of a deal for me. But here we have the bad boy, the Grand Falls Pressure Washer Pro. This one is the one rated at 2,500 PSI. Has a nicer high pressure hose. Oops, it's about to fall. As well as the metal gun. And honestly, this thing just looks badass. I cannot wait to test it out and see the difference. But out of the box, pretty much, you get the pressure washer just like this. The hose will be not attached. You just screw it onto the gun. And same with the barrel. You just screw the barrel onto the gun and you're pretty much ready to go. You get the soft hose kit, of course, in the Plus model. Uh, you get the foam cannon, which is actually a metal foam cannon. We'll see how this does. Watch the Lexus. Feels a lot better than the other one they sent. And then you get pretty much the mounting kit, which comes with the four bolts, the little drywall anchors, in case you're putting into drywall. But I would highly recommend not putting into drywall and putting it into an actual um, stud. So I'll just show the plus right now to show you kind of the features because as far as like how to use them, it's the exact same, whichever model you get. It's more the specs, like I was saying 50 times, but you have the on off switch right here. You have the retractable hose, which comes assembled like this. You don't have to worry about it. On the side, you have the water outlet. Uh, you could either screw the water hose directly onto that, or you can run the soft hose down. So you can kind of have more of a permanent setup. It's more up to you. The retraction system works pretty much just like a, like an air reel. If you ever worked in a shop with a retractable ho hose, it's the exact same thing. Come into the back of the product. This is basically the mounting spot. Comes with this bracket plate. Pretty much just bolt this wherever you want. I bolted it to the wall over here. Four spots. Some people I've seen put a piece of wood so they can get the wood into two studs and then just bolt this into the wood. I just put two bolts into the stud and then the two drywall anchors. And I feel like that's plenty. Although I did notice the Pro is a lot heavier than the Plus 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 and the Basic. So we'll see how sturdy it is. I might have to kind of redo that to make sure it's secure because I don't want it ripping off my wall. But just bolt that in and then pretty much just grab the pressure washer, bring it up to the wall. and slide it on just like that. It just sits there. So that's why it's really nice because you really just install this bracket to your wall, slap the pressure washer on there, plug it in, plug in your water hose, and you are ready to go. Turn it on and get to washing. So yeah, that's pretty much what you get in the package. Uh, what is nice too is it just comes in a box that's not too big. So really just pop it out. Like I said, super ease, super ease, ease of access, which I really like, very user-friendly. All right, just like that. Old one slides right off. should put the other two screws in, or at least into a stud. See, it's got a little wobble. All right, so after some fiddling, got the adapter set up so we could run the high pressure hose that they gave us down to the water hose. That way when we disconnect the water, the excess water just drips kind of down there. As of before, it would just drip up from the machine. So now, we're gonna test out the metal foam cannon. We got it filled up with soap and water. So here's our gun. Also, I forgot if I mentioned, but you get the four attachments for the different degrees of water spray. We'll test those out as well. And to just disconnect anything, really just a quick fit. Just like that. So we got the water all hooked up. We'll turn on the water hose and give it a shot. See how this foam cannon is.
go ahead and fully max it out. That is at full length. Down here is how much extra cable we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and route it to my backyard and we'll go hook and see how far we get. All right, so at 100 feet, fully maxed out. Let's go ahead and follow this, just so you guys get an idea of how long 100 feet of hose actually is. Excuse the mess in my backyard. But, plenty of hose length to cover my entire patio. I actually have pressure washed the whole deck off before. You can see we're still going. Come in all the way pretty much to the corner of my backyard, or at least as much property as I have in this little area. So yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of hose. So now for the fun part, let's see if we can uh, retract it all in one go. Tangled. Boom. So that's pretty much my favorite feature, but you can see up here a little close, these cross threads kind of helps achieve that, uh, what is it? Oh. That, uh, never getting tangled. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the video review on the Giraffe Tools Pressure Washer Pro. I would say the Pro is where it's at. I probably said it a couple times in this video, but the power on this thing is great. This thing looks pretty badass to me. I really like the color tone they went with. And it just gets the job done. It's nice and compact. You guys can see right here, all put away. Wasn't really that big of a deal. Just uh, wind up the hose, disconnect the hose, unless you have a permanent faucet somewhere, and call it a day. So. Let me know what you guys thought. Don't forget to drop a comment if you are interested in winning one of these bad boys. And hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you guys later.